couple of things before we wrap it up and throw it to uh, Steve Summers. Number one, um, uh, let me thank uh, all the people uh, who worked on the show and uh, uh, Steve Apria, an engineer, and uh, the promotions people and everybody else who did that, all the fans coming down and being here today, so thank you for that. Um, is you still in the studio yet? Yeah, all right, Bob, we mentioned Mink, my other update guy for all these years. A few years less than Minko has been Bob Usel, so we wanted to uh, thank Bob for his years of service, too. I did yesterday, but we'll make him part of this show, too, today. So, Bob, thank you uh, for your participation and your craziness and your passion and everything else through the years. So thank you for being part of the program. Yeah, Mike, needless to say, I don't know why you are thanking me. It's uh, me that needs to thank you and everybody else who has worked there because um, uh, they say a rising tide lifts all boats. Well, you're the tide and we're the boats, believe me. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. And again, uh, Bob, you and Mink and everybody have been great from the days with the dog on through. Now, uh, it's fitting the last guest of the show today is an old caller who used to call the show all the time who hasn't called anymore because uh, he's been with me all these years. When Julio and Bay Ridge used to call the show, uh, he always called about two things, the Yankees and uh, the Giants, uh, the uh, San, the Forty Niners uh, rather, and the and the uh, and the Yankees, and and the fight with dog usually most of the time. But uh, he was a policeman who used to come visit me at the stadium and then uh, used to walk with me after the games and stuff and talk with me. And I always told him, I said, Julio, when you retire uh, from the force, whatever the year that is, you're going to come work for me. And I think everybody at the police station, everybody, all his buddies all told him that that was a bunch of nonsense. wasn't going to happen. Well, uh, basically, all these years later, Julio has been working for me for, what, how many years? Eight, nine? It's eight, it's eight years this March. Eight March 1st. years this March. Because I'm so, going to be in your driveway next week all, yes. every day. It'll Julio has been with me now for eight years. He's been uh, not only my driver, he's been uh, my companion. He's been my right hand. He's been my confidant. He's been everything. So to me, my family, I trust him with my kids. I trust him with my family. Uh, he's taken care of me. He's been with me for eight years. He's been in the car with me every day for eight years. So yeah, I, he's made these uh, eight years through the traffic possible, and, uh, and we've gotten through it because because uh, his work, he's always on time. Uh, he's always the most protective person in the world. I mean, so he's protecting me. Not that I've really needed it, but he's protecting me unbelievably all these years. Uh, he's gotten to go to all the go games with me all these years, too. So he's gotten to, to see a lot of sports during that time. Uh, so uh, now we can go back to calling up and uh, talking about his Niners as they're just about ready to get good again uh, with Garoppolo. And he can pound his chest about the Yankees again uh, since uh, you know I won't be uh, now that doesn't mean he's not going to work for me for ever, any time anymore but he's not going to be working for me full time anymore he can uh, have his life back now after eight years but I wanted to thank him and make him the last uh, guest on the show today so Julio thank you and uh, you got a minute here to talk about your Niners or your Yankees first you can talk about Stanton and then you can talk about Garoppolo which one do you want to talk about first I mean I would definitely talk about Garoppolo Go ahead. that guy Go ahead. has made what's been a dreary year and a half Go ahead. you know um, How happy are you to have Garoppolo back at quarterback with two wins in the last two games? It, it's, it's amazing. I said to somebody after the first start, the Chicago game, you know where I was. I was in the car. You took Harrison to the Chiefs game, and yep. I said, Mike, you know what? I don't need a ticket to the game. I'm going to sit in the car, watch the game on my phone, and the guy had more third-down completions for first downs in a game on the road with no talent that I'm used to seeing my team have in two months. The guy just all of a sudden showed up, and everybody around him, the fans, the players on the field, the coaches were looking at him like, wow, that's what an NFL quarterback looks like. And I got to say something. You went out on a limb, and you were saying trade two number ones, and I was thinking, oh, you know, we stink, we lose a lot, I don't want to give up that much. You were a thousand percent right about this guy. What did you see? I always liked him. I just thought, and I know they liked him, but I thought he was going to be special. And then how happy were you to get Stanton? I mean, you know, Julio's a Yankee fan who can't pile it on enough. So he can, the Yankees can't win every game 20-0 and win, go 162-0, and and he still wouldn't be happy. So. I don't know that he fits the team, but he's not a Red Sox and he's not a Met, so there you go. All right, so well, can I just say one last thing, Mike? Yes. I didn't realize that what I did previous to this. Well, those, hold it. Those, hold it for a second because we now have one more guest. So okay. you sit here and wait. We'll okay. finish with you. Okay, okay. But first, they're telling me to welcome in one more guest. So welcome. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Fran? 
Oh, this is LT. <laughs> Rocking, smoking, sweating at the mouth. You got it. Hey, How you doing, big guy? Thank you, LT. Nice of you to finish up the show. So the great Lawrence Taylor, everybody, folks. So uh, that's very nice, of LT, to call. Thank you very much. You know, I'm saying 30 years. I mean, and listen, I'm going to tell you what. There is nobody who knows more sports than you. And well, I'm tell you what, uh, the sports world going to miss you. You know, well, thank because you. every now and then you get it right. <laughs> 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 well, listen, hey, you know what? Go it's on. very nice go of you on. to go out of your way to call uh-huh. today. And thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So, LT, I'll tell you something. The Giants don't need one of you. They need ten of you right now. You know that? Uh, yeah, well, you know how that is. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just the nature of the game right now. And, and um, right now they don't, they don't play for, you know, uh, team and country. They just, you know, they just want to get out there and 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 worry about their next contract. That's all. Unfortunately, they about. unfortunately, you know? you're right. Well, listen, that, that wasn't the case, and that's why Giant fans love you. And again, thanks for uh, for coming on LT and saying hello. Uh, and it's fitting you're the last guest because uh, during the years of the fan, you're the best player that stepped on a field anywhere, mm-hmm. anywhere in New York or anywhere else. So uh, it's fitting you would be the last guest uh, of the day where we've had so many guests. On, so thank you. Hey, all I want to say, can you send me a hundred uh, ones? I need some more stripper dollars. Good, okay? <laughs> good boy. That's LD. I tell you, what a, I tell you, typical Lawrence Taylor stays one minute too long. That's basically it. I mean, that's unbelievable. You know, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, what can I tell you? Can't make it up. Can't make it up. I just sent the text to the NYPD. Wherever he is, we'll pick him up in a minute. No, I don't think he's here. I think he might be in Florida. Ah, uh, okay. I think he's in Florida. All point bullets. I don't even know where he is, as a matter of fact. They just said, go to the calls, and I could tell right away it was LT. Actually, they warned me it was LT. So he wanted to get in. So, so Lawrence Taylor. So back to you for a second. Yeah, okay, yeah. here's the irony of it. You didn't tell me we were doing this. And f- for a long time, my friends were all like, you got to call in that last week. And I'm like, I don't do that anymore. I get Mike's full attention three hours <laughs> A day, sometimes four hours a day. Absolutely. And and here's the thing I've been thinking about is I listen to all this and I reflect because you know I remember exactly where I was. Okay, I remember being a rookie cop, showing up at work, having no seniority, getting partnered with a guy who had all the seniority in the world, and I'd say things like, "All right, here's a deal. If you let me listen to AM radio, these two guys that talk in sports, I'll buy dinner." And I literally was a neophyte in the police department, and I would do that. That's how much of a fan I was. The idea that I did that for 20 years, and all the things I learned about how to protect the entire city of New York, in the end, it was just so I could protect one guy. Well, that's that's very nice. Now, as I said, Nobody's been more best hire ever made was Julio, and uh, and it's it, he's all. It's not like he's like an employee because that's not fair. He's like part of the family, so he's not like an employee. Uh, but you know, he's been with me every day for all these years. Now, one thing: tomorrow is my last show, obviously on the fifteenth, and tomorrow I'm going to have just the callers and myself uh, until we say goodbye. Then I'm going to get in the car with Julio and go home uh, for the last time. So he'll be with me tomorrow. But one thing, tomorrow, and I need your help right now, because tomorrow is Julio's 50th birthday. So right now, before we say goodbye, let's sing happy birthday to Julio right now. It's his 50th birthday tomorrow. So you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Yeah, Julio, happy birthday to you. 50 tomorrow, Julio Rosa. So he'll be with me tomorrow on his birthday, so he should be doing something else, but he'll wait till Saturday to celebrate with his family. Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for, for coming out today. Uh, thank you very much. The fans are great. You guys are all great. If you need pictures, hang around. I did some on the way in. I'll do whatever's left. Uh, thanks to Steve Appy for what he did today with the engineers. Cherney, thank you. My guys back in the studio who did a great job. I didn't know about any guest today, including LT to finish the show. So uh, I didn't know about any guest. There's over 80-something. I think I said 85 or 86 guests uh, on the show today. It was a wonderful show. I really appreciate it. Mons and uh, Chris McGonigal outdid themselves. Great job back in the studio with this. That's a way to wrap it up. Uh, it'll set up tomorrow very well. We'll see you tomorrow at 1. Have a good night, everybody.